authentic Hello everyone, it's Carissa and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to give you guys an update because it's been about two years or so since I've made a video and um, first thing I want to do is say thank you to all of those who have stuck around, my old subscribers and thank you to the new ones that have continued to either watch my video or subscribe even though I haven't been putting a lot of content out. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is my lymph check because you guys know I shaved my head back in, I think it was 2014. I did a couple of updates but now my hair has grown a lot and I've cut it in between the two year period, you know, cut my ends and all that. So let's go ahead and do that first. Alright, let's do the back. Back of my hair is probably like armpit length. Front of my hair, I have cut it more than the other parts. I did protective styles with wigs. I would have a little bit of leave out. So, about right there. And my sides are tangled, pretty much like, I guess, collarbone. So that's about it for the lift check. To give you guys a quick update uh, on my life, past couple years a lot has gone on. Two years is a long time to not have something go on. But the major thing is that I lost my grandmother. I lost her back in June. So it's pretty fresh. She was very important to me. A lot of people are important to me, but you know, she was very important to me. Impacted my life a lot. A lot of the time whenever my mother had to work or we just put the grandma house a lot. There are a lot of other things that have taken place that I'm not able to share at the moment. But whenever I can, I certainly will. The way I look at it is, it's my opportunity to release things and potentially be able to help someone else. And whenever I get to a place where I'm able to do that, to do that, I would definitely sit in front of this camera and just talk. Knowing that somebody is on the other end, being able to be helped, even though I can't physically, I can make a video about it. Now, moving on to some of the positive things. We always want to end on a light note. I've had another child, and it's a girl. She is one years old right now, so a lot has take, taken place. So, a whole baby, okay? So now I have four children, and um, they're growing so much. I posted a video a couple weeks ago that was really brief about my new channel and it's called Originaturals, mainly for my company. Not only that, I'm going to have creative things on that channel from my soap making to, you know, just DIYs, things like that. And I plan on going ahead and putting my video of my earrings that you guys love so much um, the DIY for that I made that video a long time ago and I held on to it because I was like you know what should I just make these earrings and sell them I think it would just be best if I just go ahead and just put it out that channel is mainly for me to have creative flow I'm gonna put it on that channel so look out for that go ahead and subscribe if you want to see it the link is down below not only do I have that on that channel, I'm starting a new series called my mystery box soaping with what? So with that, the concept is I'm going to pick a random item that is unique that you normally don't see put inside of soap that is exotic and I'll go out and put it in the box and then reveal to you guys what I'm going to be soaping with and then I will actually attempt to use that item and tell you guys the benefits of that item and I'll put it in the soap. And the place where you guys come in is that I want you guys to give me ideas of things that you would want to see that are unique and different inside of a soap. Now I've already put it out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and so far on like Facebook and Instagram I've gotten <laughs> a couple responses that are out of this world. You never know, I may do it, I may not. I don't know, one of them, wanted me to put Mountain Dew inside of a soap. They are like a Mountain Dew fanatic. And I was like, oh my God, like <laughs> Mountain Dew. But anyway, so <laughs> another one wanted to put 
maple syrup. So I think whenever they saw mystery box, they unique, they just went way left, which at the same time, hey, you never know, I might do it. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be beneficial as far as the Mountain Dew at all, but we can work with maple syrup. You never know. So if you guys have any ideas for that, put it down below and you never know, it may be featured in one of my episodes. That's pretty much it for me. Oh, and if you haven't checked this out, this happened in 2014. Kevin Fredericks, or Kevin on stage, of the Playmakers made a video with our soap in it, and it is hilarious. And I'm gonna put it in the description box also. So check it out when you get a chance. Don't forget to enter the giveaway that we have going on on my other channel. All you have to do is subscribe, put enter me under the Blueberry Fool video, and it's that easy. You could be entered to win three bars of soap at like a $21 value. And that's about it, you guys. Alright, peace.